is able. Come on, he's able to heal. Look at somebody and say, I don't care what you're going through, he is able. Sometimes even when you sing it and he hasn't been able in your situation yet, the more you declare it, the more it attracts God to your situation. Because sometimes you have to declare he's able out of a hard place. Oh. Anybody had to declare he was a healer and you were still sick, but you believed him for healing? Anybody had to declare he was a provider and you didn't have no money in your pocket, but the more you believed him, he showed up and he became it?
way. Whatever you've been praying for, whatever you've been believing for, your prophecy shall be your reality. Whatever is hanging over your head, it's getting ready to come to your head. I wish I had somebody say, it's on the way. It's on the way. It's on the way. was invisible I feel God getting ready to do some impossible things for somebody tonight <laughs> say what was invisible oh shall be visible what was impossible shall be possible there's nothing impossible Woo. hey that's somebody's word come on grab it out in the spirit and say there's nothing there's nothing impossible hey come on i know i feel like you've been up against some stuff this week but promise i'll say there's nothing in oh. come on say say there's nothing in tonight. Come on, praise him. Come on. What was impossible just became possible in this room tonight. How would you act if what you believe in God for shows up at your doorstep? Come on, open your mouth and praise him for the impossible. I said praise praise him for the impossible tonight. Come on, come on, lose yourself tonight. This is a night of worship. Come on. One thing we know about prophet, he loves to worship. But I'm looking for some people that want their own worship tonight and say, God, there's nothing impossible. Super. 
financial breakthrough. Tell somebody you've been waiting on man, but God gonna do it in the spirit tonight. beside him. Beautiful prophetess, Ivory Robinson Delaney. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Woo. And while you're yet standing, this man of God is an awesome man of God. We're so honored to have him as our first guest in our Laplace location. And uh, he was so humble in speaking to us today. We had a great time at breakfast. 
uh, such a, you meet many people and some people, they're not touchable, they're not reachable, but this man of God was touchable and reachable today and he is an anointed gift, not just an anointed preacher, but a psalmist out this world. Can we praise God for our musical guest tonight in the honor of David Wilford from Chicago. Come on, he left his church family to be with us. Come on. Give him a Louisiana welcome tonight. Glory to God and to every pastor, to every leader. But we cannot thank God for the prophet without thanking God for his mother, the womb that God chose to birth such a gift. She's a prophetess in her own right. Give God praise for the mother of the prophet tonight, Mother Edna Delaney. Glory to God. We have so many pastors and leaders. We have Pastor Ledette who's here. Give God praise for her. You'll hear from her. Also, woman of God. We have Pastor Sonequa Stewart who is here. Prophet Sonequa Stewart. Doc, Dr. Yo is here. Come on, give God praise. Pastor Chris Moore from Prep Tower is here tonight. Come on, Pastor Nika's here. Everybody. If I missed your title, I may, I may not know you, but your sales a hand tonight. And let's welcome our online audience, our Well Global family. Come on, come on, let them hear it. We welcome you. We ask you to like, share, tag, and invite. Tonight is a night of worship that we have dedicated to honor God and worship God. One thing about Prophet Delaney, he is a worshiper. Glory to God, I had the honor and the privilege to be able to travel with him alongside as a brother, and I've seen him worship. I've seen us drive, and he just go off into worship. Sometimes I'd be scared because he just, he forget he's driving, but the Holy Ghost got us. But he is a worshiper, and tonight we came to worship. So what I want you to do is like, share, tag, and invite, and invite some people to join in with us with the worship tonight. Glory to God. We thank God for our minstrels tonight. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Tonight, is, at this time, Pastor Nick is coming to take us further in this service. But I just want you to keep your temperature. Look at somebody say, keep your temperature. Come on now. We know one thing we know about Prophet. He don't like no dead church. Glory to God. The night we came to worship God tonight. And so keep your temperature high tonight. But let's give God praise for Pastor Nick as she takes us further. Amen. Amen. So right now, this is a time set aside for tithes and offering. Amen. Second Corinthians 9 and 7 states that God loves a cheerful giver. Hallelujah. So this is a time where we should get happy. I like the messenger version best. He said that he places an amount on your heart. Right? He, uh, he places an amount on your heart to give so you don't feel pressure to give. You don't feel manipulated to give. So you can be cheerful and excited about giving because he's already placed the amount on your heart. Hallelujah. So if you will, this time, if you would like to give an offering or a tithe, this would be your time right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And let's get excited about it. Let's get excited about it. Because God gives seed to the soul. Seed to the soul. One minute. Just a new house roost. Come on. Can we give God a hand clap of praise? Oh, come on. You can do better than that. A closed mouth can't get fed. Oh, somebody shout glory. Oh, somebody shout glory. Somebody shout glory to God. Now, you can act like that. I survived four years. I survived four years. We've been virtual four years. And now the doors of the church. The doors of the church. The doors of the church is open. Somebody shout glory. Amen. Look at your neighbor. Say we're under construction. We're under construction. Amen. We're under construction. And of course, the ways to give is on the side. And of course, amen. Then we thank God for Pastor Nika. They're a little nervous. Prophet been on one. I'm in my prophetic anointing. And you know how you are when you sit under a prophet, amen? The agitation, the frustration, amen? Can everybody get at least a $23 seed? At least a $23 offering, amen? We've been doing a lot of work the last 30 days. It's only been 30 days. And it's so much that we have done. But you're being here tonight. I literally told them I did not want this night. <laughs> we was going to reschedule it because... 
uh, this year I didn't need all of this. My, my prayer has been answered. I told the Lord to give us a space by Passover and he did it. So that's my birthday present from heaven. So that's what I'm excited about, amen, this space, amen. So tonight, <laughs> amen, tonight we're here and we're intentionally here to celebrate what the Lord is doing in the well global. Somebody shout glory. And of course the ways to give are, are on, the, on the side there. We're still working. There's no internet in the building yet. Uh, it's just a lot of things that spirit of excellence is who I am. So when we're not in a realm of excellence, it kind of gets me shaky. But of course, amen, thank you for your seats tonight. Thank you for partnering again. Can we thank God for David Wilfer? I'm excited. He's one of my favorite artists. I love his ministry, and I wanted him to be able to be with us tonight. Amen. Pastor Nika can come back. I just got in there. Amen. To just do some house rules. Amen. Make sure we keep the momentum up. And you holler back at your boy. We're not, this ain't no funeral. This is a celebration. And tonight, can we give God a shout one more time? This is the month of Judah. This is the month to make hell nervous and to cause your enemies to drown. This is the month your shout is going to cause your enemy or my son to drown in the river. They shed my hand drown like they did in the Red Sea. We're crossing over. Look at your neighbor. Say your enemy just tried. Glory to God. If you're giving tonight, I want you to come on and give. If you're giving by cash, you can place it in the preceptacle. This again is our expense offering. Of course, we've been building so much. Lord of God. And guess what, Prophet? We want to congratulate you because you have literally built God in house. Oh, come on. We could do better than that. If one day we're going to release the before and after pictures, but literally God has used him. He has used him to build God in house. And so if you're giving by cash or if you can wave at me and say, Prophet, I already gave, I already gave. If you're giving online, the ways to give are, are being uh, put in the comment section. You can go ahead and put uh, ways to give there. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And come on, give yourselves a hand for your giving. Father, we thank you for each seed tonight, and we bless it in the name of Jesus. We ask that you multiply it even seven times more in Jesus' name. Amen. Of course, we know, glory to God, that Prophet has blessed so many. He has blessed so many across the world. And uh, I promise you, if we, if we was to pass the mic online and just in so many places from Virginia to California, I've literally watched this man of God go and preach to pack houses and say, God told me not to take anything, raise thousands of dollars for people. Come on, that's honorable. Glory to God. And the Lord used him across this across this nation to preach and prophesy and he is one of the most prolific voices that I know in this season and so many have came all over to honor him tonight and we're going to start with words of special words from his dear mother tonight come on as we pray well until she's getting ready we're going to start at the well if y'all can go get Mother Delana for me, Mother Delaney for me, she's going to give uh, her special words tonight. Let's give God praise as she comes tonight to honor her son. Amen. Can I give him a week? Well, I didn't give them to a missionary hybrid, and I'm glad about it. <laughs> Oh, am I glad? And I'm going to do all I can for her to keep him. All I can.
realized it, y'all. <laughs> I was told I wouldn't have no children. Mother Delaney went from here to Houston after being told she wouldn't have no children. And I saw the best doctors. But I never forget a white guy was one of my patients prophesied to me. And he didn't call himself a prophet. And um, went saw him at his house. And he told me and my mother that I would have two sons. And that one would be greater than he was. And um, I held on to that word. Because you had to know I wasn't even having cycles, normal cycles. It would be some years I wouldn't have no cycles. And my mother, I never forget me and my mother went back. And she said, you sure? And it was because it was something in our family with women that didn't have children. When I look back on our history, and I had two male sons, two male sons. And when I realized prophet bone in the month of Nisan, and I remember some of the dreams I had and some of the words God spoke to me. And Nisan means the head, and he's my first bone. And he's a prophet. And he's the head of the church. And I started thinking about things, and I started thinking about some of the things we go through and some of the things we have went through. And I started thinking about me being the first and me being born in December. And I don't study astrology or like some people say, the way man think of it, but I do study it as the sign of God because we begin to think about witchcraft and voodoo and don't even know God create all of it. Just like I was telling them on the line the other day that these festivals come from the word feast. And I was talking about how we get caught up in them and these feasts is, is running right along with the festivals and that now I'm beginning to do a study because the French Quarter Fest is French and it has to do something with the Passover and with the French and all of that come on y'all but y'all getting caught up in the evil of it and don't even realize what's happening but right here we are gonna profit in Pastor G's gonna be studying the Passover so y'all can come right back out here Tuesday I mean Monday <laughs> y'all can come right back out here Monday and celebrate with us the true meaning of the Lord Easter wasn't a true meaning Easter wasn't a true meaning but my first bone y'all my first bone started out here on Carrollwood 12 years ago and the room was about big as this y'all and they used to be waiting for the man of God but we was on the second floor where sister Linda at and Mary sister Linda know how the people was be waiting out there The closet was her office, y'all. That's right. The closet was Sister Linda's office. She was doing finances then. And they'd be waiting up the stairs because we was on the second floor. Up the stairs to get in. And we had to move out of the space about this big into the next suite that was a little bit bigger. And we outgrew that. And one of the people that was a member told him about Woodland and we got in a building like this that had a bunch of rooms but it had a church on the end 
that was bigger with a kitchen. And this reminds me of it because they do have a room back there, but it's to the back that's larger. And I believe God is doing the same thing for you that he done on Woodland. But this time you're going to own this whole building, this strip. Because we went from Carrollwood to the back of Cambridge, which we own Cambridge, and it was at the cone of Cambridge in Woodland. And you have dig many wells for other people. You have tried to bring other people along. Pastor G and I went <laughs> with him to Dallas <laughs> for a feast. We and had a blowout coming back, but we had a great time. We have traveled. Me and him have traveled. Y'all, Prophet took me from Appaloosa's all the way to the end of New York in a vehicle. From Appaloosa's on a preaching engagement to the end of New York. We got out the car on a bus, on a train to the end of New York came back we done did some travel but said thank God now he put mother on a plane mother don't have to be in a car no more less than she wanna mother don't have to travel in a car no more less than she wanna he put mother on a plane now. Don't have to be in the car less than I want or not. Put me on a plane. Sometimes I ask him for a car ride. I ask him. Son, I appreciate you. I thank God for what he's doing in your life. I just want you to slow down at a pace. <laughs> Stop getting frustrated. Let God be God. Because he's doing everything he promised to do in this season. And God will answer it all. Let's give God praise for Mother Delaney tonight. All right, I don't want to have to, come on, we're going to have one of his mentees, one of his daughters come. She can come on through the door, uh, Minister Nikasia, Acacia Nichols, come on, give God praise for her. Yes, I did. I pressed in for you, the fruit of your labor. I lost my nanny today, my aunt. But when I thought about what we said about do, God is doing things full circle, 12 years ago, you and I took this road. We went over to the place. You picked me up from the halfway house when I was just released from prison. And you told me, I see something in you, and I need you. I'm like, hmm? I'm just coming home. But anyway, a couple of months ago, you pulled me through. You pulled me through. So I would be remiss not to stand here today and tell you thank you and happy birthday. God is awesome and he's doing things full circle. Yeah. Today makes five years that I buried my son. And God took my nanny today. Five is the number of favors, so I don't take it lightly. I know God is doing a new thing. Twelve. too much to say because I am full and I really didn't want to get up here to say anything but you pulled me through. Happy birthday. Come on, give God praise for her tonight. 
Listen, we have so many great men and women of God that came from all over this uh, country to come and celebrate uh, our prophet tonight. And we want we would want not to give them space to speak. Glory to God. And in this order, so I won't have to come back up here. <laughs> uh, we want uh, prophetess Tony Hardy, Dr. Yolanda Griffin, prophetess Shaniqua Stewart and prophetess Ledette in that order. And they're gonna come and they're gonna share and give words and prophetic utterances to our prophet tonight. So in that order, can we give God praise for these women of God that are coming? Frank C. Delaney. What a mighty man of God. When I stepped my foot in prayer tower a year ago, I never dreamed of the things that would happen in my life until I stepped in that place. It's like my whole life shifted inside of my body. I have been coming ever since that day. He gave me a hard hat. And he told me, I'm going to build, yeah. I'm going to buy, yeah. and I'm a brand new God. Yeah. And I'm grateful for this man because he is not only my prophet, I consider him a brother. And I know I have Dr. G here on today. She's been my mentor since I was young. You get it? Huh? She raised me. But today is about you, prophet. And I want to dec decree and declare over your life that your best days have just begun. I want to decree and declare that you have not seen and your eyes have not heard. Neither has it even entered into the heart or what the things God has for you. I want to decree and declare that you're going to walk into new realms. You're going to walk into new realms. You're going to walk into new windows. You're going to walk into new doors. You're going to walk into the things that you never thought you would be able to walk through. I see you walking right now. I see your feet. The Lord told me to lay my hands on your feet. He said, because every place that the sole of your feet shall tread upon, he said he's already giving it up to you. He said he's about to give you some new supernatural increase. He says it's going to be massive. He says it's going to be mind-blowing in the name of Jesus. He said walk into your destiny. He said I've given you this prophecy for a reason. He said because I place things in order. He said and everybody over the world going to know your name, Prophet C. Delaney. He said not only that, he said you're going to go around the world and you're going to save many women. You're going to save them for the things that they thought that they could not do. You're going to deliver them. You're going to set them free. In the name of Jesus, he said they're coming. He said he's going to place the all in your hand. It's not for a reason. He said the all is running from your hands. I love about son. And I decree and declare that your marriage is blessed. I decree and declare that every place that your woman, your wife goes, that she is blessed. They're going to know your name. I see you sitting at the table, tables that you tried to get in 12 years ago. He said those tables are open on today. He said you can walk through the door. He said the hinges are on the door now. You have no blockage, man of God. And I decree and declare that you're blessed, you're favored, a mighty man of God, and you're gonna do what the Lord say, no matter what the sea says say. They have no power and authority over the things that God has for your life. And I bless you, man of God, and I'm forever grateful for the things that you have done. And I decree and declare that it is so. 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 In Jesus' name, and I bless you. Thank you. Wear me out. I'm tired. All 
Okay, yesterday, right, last week, I am church out. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I'm only here tonight because I love you, and I think you know that. I'm grateful for you, woman of God. I've been praying for him for you. I'm going to say that again. I've been praying for him for you. Because behind every good man, there has to be a good woman. So I, it's his day. And he know I love him. He's my big little brother. Hallelujah. But I want to say, may the Lord strengthen you. Keep you. Crown our head with wisdom. Yes, Lord. Give you patience. Yes, Lord. Walk boldly. But yet, humbly, you're beautiful. So the enemy is going to come. But I want to encourage you to stand your ground. Talking to your woman to woman as a big sister. And I'm here if you ever need prayer. But don't you let these grafty. My daughter, what she said to me today. What the young women know they said today? Thirsty. thirsty. Thank you. That was it. Thirsty. Don't let these thirsty, the greedy, grafty, oh, lonely, selfish, jealous women come upon you and provoke you to bring that into your home. You, your job is to cover him in much prayer, which means you're going to spend a lot of time on your face. A lot of things you ain't going to like that he might do or say. But you stay prayerful because you are Mrs. Frank C. Delaney. And the only person can change that is you. Remember that. I don't know that's what the Lord just did. I didn't pray. I didn't ask him. But this is what he told me. He didn't need me today. You did. So I know you're going some way because he brought her into your life. And you know I'm standing with you. Anybody listening? I've been praying for a pastor for the sake of my family, my children and my grandchildren, my nieces, my nephews, y'all, this world is coming to a close. And I don't know about you, but my family members are dying. And we need some real preachers, some real teachers, and we need I'm a woman. I'm not against the woman. But the men got to get in their rightful place. Yeah. And my husband, for the first time, yesterday said, I like Frank. That's big for me. Because y'all don't know, he don't really care for too many preachers or the people of the church. So for him to say that, I was like, woo, God, okay, now we look like we might be moving somewhere. So I told Prophet, I don't care about the place. I don't mean y'all no harm. <laughs> Did not? Marrero is what I'm looking for. We need a solid word, y'all. Time running out. So you pray for his strength. You pray for his courage. You pray that God send the willing workers. We don't say that no more, but you know why they said willing? They were willing. Now we got to pull on them. We got to pay for everything. We got to build them up, all that, to get a worker. Come on. Them two women back there, I love them. They just stepped right on in and came and served, and I'm grateful. Hallelujah. So I love you. You got That's the most important part anyway. You don't want hell that. You want my seed. Praise the Lord. 
<laughs> I love him, y'all. Here you go. Who's next? Praise the Lord. Bless you. Come on, woman of God. They all got that green on. All I keep hearing is keep on digging. Don't stop digging. You a grave digger. Oh, she back. You a grave digger. Keep on. Catch it in the spirit. He's a grave digger. And I'm a concierge. There's resurrection power on him. That's all I'm trying to tell you. He's a grave digger. And I'm a concierge. Keep on digging. Don't stop digging. Keep on digging. The well, the wells that never run dry, <laughs> keep digging. And once you hit the good well, dig some more. <laughs> once you hit that next well, dig some more. Keep on letting the Lord use you to dig, to help save souls. Keep on obeying God, even when you look foolish. <laughs> even when you didn't look like you didn't lost your mind. Keep on digging. Hallelujah. I don't know where to begin. But I come to say thank you for being a friend, for being a brother for being an amazing leader, a prophet, and just a listening ear at time. Thank you for obeying God, prophet. And I just speak Ephesians 3 and 20 over your life, over your beautiful wife, over your marriage, over your business, over your family, over everything that concerns you. Now, unto him who is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that you could ever ask, think, or imagine according to the power that working down on the inside of you one Frank C. Delaney on your 36th birthday Three represents the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Six represents humanity. Man, God has worked on you in your heart through the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Put three and six together, it's nine. You are birthing out and you are fertile. You won't stop birthing in this season. You're going to birth everywhere you go. Every place that the soles of your feet tread upon. God say, I'm going to give it to you. If you think it, I'm going to give it to you. So mind thoughts because it's going to be yours. Ah, she can't ever keep on digging. God is adding to your life. He's increasing you and he's enlarging your borders. Keep on digging. Keep on obeying God. Keep on praying. Keep on gathering. See, this is a, this is a training camp. <laughs> this is where prophets, apostles, evangelists, hallelujah, pastors, teachers, see, he's going to multiply. He's going to reproduce after his own kind. He can't be everywhere at the same time. So he got to have willing vessels so that he can keep on digging. That's all I kept hearing. Keep on digging. Keep on resurrecting dead places. I got a firm in Laplace on what that was, Woodland, what was that? Woodland Drive. Because you simply obeyed a prayer. I said, God, help me understand my call. Help me understand 
who I am in you, and he birthed out the very first school of the prophets years ago. About eight years ago, you obey God. And in that moment, God was answering my prayers through you. And at the end of that service or that training, the Lord allowed him to affirm the call. He had no idea what I was praying to God for. And guess what? God is using him to help groom me and cultivate me. And before I take my seat, you have hit a rim that is making hell nervous. You are, listen, it says, and Samuel grew. In your 36 years, you have grown from faith to faith and glory to glory. God is taking you to another level of authority in him because you have put away the childish ways. And now you are a man of God walking in a new level of authority. But when we gather together and we prayed, and I had the assignment to pray for apostolic marriages, <laughs> my marriage was under attack. I got to testify to tell the truth and shame the devil. This man of God obeyed God. And in his obedience gave me an assignment to pray for apostolic and prophetic marriages. I could have said no, give it to somebody else. But he was cultivating me. He was helping me to walk in a level of authority that I never walked in. And guess what? Marriage has been restored. <laughs> Keep on digging. You better keep on digging. Keep on obeying God. Hear me. The devil thought he won. My, my brother never talked against my marriage. He never talked down on my husband. He said, wait a minute. I see a witch. I see a warlock. I see the devil. I see a python. We're going after him. Keep on digging. Don't give up on your prophet. Whatever the Lord say, just do it. You're going to reap the benefits. Your family's going to reap the benefits. Your marriage shall be blessed. Your children shall be blessed. Your ministry shall be blessed. Everything connected to you shall be blessed. Don't stop digging. That's all I got for you. He birthing out new things. Every place the sole of your feet tread upon. God said, I'm going to give it to you. I promised it. And as you obey, and as you crazy enough to obey me and believe me, he said, eyes have not seen, neither have ears heard, neither have it entered into the heart of man what he have in store for you. You're going from millions to billions. I can prophesy and tell you what thus says the Lord. You shall be a philanthropist. You shall be who God called you to be. Praise your God. Nobody know like I know. It's not only when you could celebrate one another when something going good, but can you be that for one another when all hell break loose? And as I was preparing, first of all, you my sister. God grace you for this. God didn't only you to be anointed for the public him, but you never anointed for the private him. Nobody would ever be able to cover him like you cover him because God sent you here for such a time as this. And so I cancel every demonic attack that's been trying to come against your mind. I cancel everybody that's been praying against you. I've been casting all the assignments that was been trying to enter into your ear to plant seeds inside your spirit. I destroy by fire right now in the name of Jesus. And God shall bless your womb. Brother, when they told me about this, 
all I could think about. Mother Delaney, I love you. Woman of God, I love you. But God started giving me Kairos and Kronos. Oh. I wasn't understanding why he kept saying, he said, no, Kronos and Kairos. And I'm like, God, what, what you talking about? And so I'm going to kind of break something down for you. He says, 60 seconds in a minute, 3,600 seconds in an hour, 86,400 seconds in 24 hours is 604,080 seconds in a week. Y'all just got to roll with me. He said it's 720 hours in a month, 43,200 minutes in a month, and 2,592,000 seconds in a month. And then so he broke me down. He said it's 8,640 hours in a year. It's 518,400 minutes in a year. And it's 31,104,000 seconds in a year. And so I say, God, why you gave me this? He said, because you have to let him know Kairos is God time. Kronos is man time. God made you in Kairos, but he made you out of Koros. Y'all need to understand what I'm saying. God said, don't be so caught up with Kronos that you're going to miss the Kairos. That means don't be so caught up in what you late for, when it's going to get here. Because so many times we caught up on time and not realizing what God is doing in time. And so God said, this is the hour that we can't be caught up in time, knowing what he's doing on time. He said, because right now your chronos is about to start hitting back to back. What is Kairos? Kairos is the suddenly. Kairos is the blessing. Kairos is the time that God made for people to come forward and bless your feet. God said, Kairos is the time that you married your wife. Kairos is the time that he brought it back in fruition. They keep saying 12, 12 is the structure of order. And when I was looking at the name of the street, it's Cambridge. When I looked at Cain, Cain is a part of a machine that keeps spinning, going around, and then it hooks onto something that's sliding. It don't stop moving. And God saying, bridge, mean you're about to gap something together. God said, this is the hour. Don't stop moving because you're gapping something together. God said, this is the hour. Don't stop moving because you're gapping it back together. And that's why the enemy is mad because God said what they don't understand saying is that Kairos is about to happen. Kairos is suddenly can I tell somebody if you in this building for such a time as this you're under the Kairos moment that mean God is doing it for you suddenly. God is about to birth it out for you suddenly. God gonna send you help suddenly. God gonna send you the money suddenly. God gonna send you rest suddenly. He said the Kairos is over your life. He said that's why you can't get so caught up in time. He said cause I made it time. He said, when I say that you're 36, he said three is the uh, Father, Son, the Holy Spirit. Six means that you're human. And God said he's bringing everything back together. I cancel every demonic attack that been trying to come up against you. I destroy every witch, every warlock. I chop off the Leviathan head. I pray over your mind, your heart, your spirit, that no weapon form against you shall prosper. Everything that rise up against you shall be destroyed by fire. Any altars that was built up against you inside the spiritual realm, we come to cancel it. We come to annihilate it. Because I want you to know I got your back. I want you to know I got your back. I'm not just in your face, I got your back. I represent you when you're not in my face. I'm not going to let nobody do you nothing or talk about you no kind of way. I don't care if you're in my face, out of my face. This is our revenge. Revealing. This is the hour God is revealing. This is the hour God is revealing. And so in order for God to build you for such a time as this, he had to separate and start subtracting so he could start multiplying. And this is the hour for you, brother. I love you with all my heart. I thank God for you. Woman of God, when you say your husband say he like prophet, you have to know what kind of husband I have. And my husband invites him over to our house. And my husband don't never do that for nobody. And so I could truly say I thank you for the good times and the bad times. I thank you for sticking in there for me, with me, when nobody else didn't believe in me. And so I love you. Amen. Come on, let's give the Lord some praise tonight. Hallelujah. As you can tell by everyone that came up and gave expressions, 
the man of God is a real man of God. Look at somebody and say, he's a real man of God. He's a real. And we are honored. We thank God for every person that spoke tonight. Uh, so, so many great words and everything that was said was true. Glory to God, because everything for each individual person, he has been something that God allowed him to be to them. And one thing I can say, he is not a selfish person. Is that right? And one more time, can we just give God praise for Prophet Frank Delaney tonight? We love you, sir. Listen, I need y'all to like, share, tag, and invite. And I need everybody in this building to make some noise because our musical guest, woo, is about to kill it. You know, I'm from... I'm from the millennial age, so we say kill it. Somebody say, he about to kill it. <laughs> can we stand and give God praise all the way from Chicago? Come on, can we stand and give God praise all the way from Chicago? Let's give God a great God bless you for the person of prophet Pastor David Wilford tonight. Come on, let him hear it. Let him hear it. Let him hear it. Come on, let him hear it. Let him hear it. Amen. God bless you. Uh, you can have your seat for just one second. Uh, I want to get all of the preliminaries in and out of the way. Amen. We're here to honor the man of God. So we say happy birthday to you. Amen. I honor uh, you, your wife. Amen. To the host of uh, men and women of God in the room, I honor you. My God mommy's in the room. Pastor Dion Smith, I love you um, dearly. Amen. And uh, one of the things I want us to uh, know as we go forward is, as they have uh, reiterated time after time, Prophet is a worshiper. Um, and from the looks of it and from uh, the remarks that were shared, we're in a room full of prophets and prophetic people and apostles and all of those different things, which means it shouldn't be that hard for us to go up tonight. Um, because we understand the power of worship. We understand, amen, the power of the open heaven. Um, and when we worship and when we sacrifice and when we give God the fruit of our lips, when we give God our waved hand, when we do those things, it opens up the heavenlies. Um, so tonight I want you to posture yourself. Um, if you want to stand, you can. Uh, you can posture yourself. We're going to go into, amen, some moments of worship. And uh, as is my norm, it might turn into some intercession at the same time. Amen. But how many believe that God is going to move tonight? I'm going to say that again. How many believe that God is going to move tonight? I'm not going to be up here. We're not going to keep you all night. I heard, amen, the woman of God, when she says she is churched out, amen, my voice is probably telling you that I also have been in church all weekend long, amen, but God is still worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be worshiped. Come on, let's just stand on our feet for a moment. I want you to get comfortable, and I want you to close your eyes. I'm going to sing, but before I sing... I want you to just close your eyes and I want you to begin to think about your God. I want you to begin to think about how good he is. I want you to think about how wonderful he is. And then I want that thought, I want that memory to turn into some language. Come on, begin to give him the fruit of your lips. Father, we thank you. We glorify you. We honor you. We give you praise. We give you glory. Thank you for sustaining us. Thank you for keeping us. Thank you for watching over us. Thank you, come on, for sustaining us. Come on, thank you. You have been our God throughout all ages. Thank you. You have never left us in our good times and our bad. You have stayed with us. So, Father, we've come tonight to glorify you. We've come tonight to worship you. Hallelujah. We've come to give you glory. We've come to give you honor, Jesus. Come on, that's it. Put that song on your heart. Put that song on your lips. That's it. Come on. We're ascending tonight. Come on. That's it. If you have to leave your English language, the Bible says that we can worship with the understanding and we can worship in the spirit. Come on. Where are the prophets? Where are the prophetic people? Come on, tap that well in your belly. Hallelujah. We give you glory. Come on, that's it. 
Seramanda Bakatala Mando Bosata Ribiki de Libi Andrubu Sukutur Mundu Bosa. Come on, that's it. Begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Come on, begin to worship in the Spirit. We worship you in the Spirit. Come on, we worship. We worship. We worship. We worship. Come on, that's it. Worship Him in the Spirit. We worship you in the Spirit. We worship you in the Spirit. Come on, we're going to move in just a second. We worship you in the spirit. We bypass our intellect and we worship you in the spirit. We bring you a sacrifice that you are worth, tired in our bodies, but we worship. Weak, fatigued, but we worship. You are our God. You are our sustainer. You are our Lord. And we bring you worship. We bring you worship. We bring you worship. We bring you. We bring you worship for sustaining us, for sustaining us, for your keeping power. We worship. We worship, we worship, we worship, we worship, we pour. Come on, I know you came to celebrate the man of God, but out of your belly, out of your belly, let that river flow, river flow. Let the river flow. Let the river flow. Come on. Let it flow. 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 Come on. Let that river flow. Up, 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 let that river flow. The book of John said, Out of your belly shall flow rivers, 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 rivers. I prophesy new rivers, new streams, new rivers, new streams, new rivers. New rivers, new streams, new rivers, new streams. New rivers, new streams, new rivers, new streams. What the enemy thought he had stopped up. The dams in the spirit that the enemy thought he would place in the way. I decree and I declare that the worship that we give tonight is going before us. The worship that we render tonight is going before us. It is unstopping wells. It is unstopping dams. It is breaking down every barrier in the realm of the spirit. Flow, 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 river, flow, river, flow, 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 your money, flow, resources, flow, relationships, flow, flow. Flow, 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 the streams of the Lord that make his city glad, they'll flow, they'll flow, they'll flow, they'll flow, the streams, I 
out of heaven shall flow, shall flow, shall. That's it. Declare it over your life. Flow, 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 flow. Come on. Declare it. Decree it. Declare it. Decree it. It shall be established. Flow, 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 flow. Divine flow, divine flow, divine flow, 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 flow. The devil can't stop the 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 flow. We beat back the buzzer. We beat back the python. We beat back the enemy. It must, it shall flow. Come on, something is being unlocked. Something is being unstopped. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Hey, every restriction must be released. Every restriction must be released. I decree a flow. I decree the ease of the Lord. The ease of the Lord. The ease of the Lord. The ease. You're not saying it like it's a prophetic declaration. Everything that the enemy has tried to block, we decree, we declare, this is the year of the flow. Flow, 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 flow in my life, 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 in this ministry, in this church. I decree a flow, a flow, a flow, all the 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 flow, more, 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 more than enough, more than enough, more than enough, more. It's open. It's open. It's open. In the realm of the spirit. It's open. There is a flow. 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 And the Prince of Persia cannot stop this flow. The Prince of Persia cannot stop this flow. The principalities over the region cannot, will not, shall not stop this flow. The Lord says, I heard you the first day that you pray. I heard your request and it is about to flow. It is about to flow. Flow, 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 flow. Flow, 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 
flow. You've been frustrated by that prophesied flow. You've been frustrated by the delay. You've been frustrated by the denial. You've been frustrated by what's been held up. But the word of the night is flow. Flow. Flow.
open, open. That's it, come on. He wants to hear your voice. Open, open, we travail until it opens, we travail until it breaks, we don't mind travailing, we don't mind casting our voice until the thing that was closed is open, is open, is open. Is open. Is open. Is open. Is It is open. It is open. It is open. It is open. As the children of Israel were coming out of Egypt and they stood before one of the greatest barriers, the Red Sea, the Lord gave the prophet instructions. He said, I want you to raise your rod. I want you to stand still. And what was closed? And what was closed? And what was closed? Became a highway in the middle of the sea. The thing that they thought they could not get around. The thing that they thought was going to be their death. The thing that they thought was going to be their demise. In one word. In one act of obedience. Somebody shout it was open. And the thing that was open for them. Killed their enemy. The thing that was open for them. Drowned their enemy. I've got a word for you. What you thought would kill you. Is not going to kill you. It's going going to drown the plan of the enemy it's going to drown the enemy of your soul if you believe it somebody shall open come on get delivered from the fear of death it's open it's open it's open it's open it's open you're going to walk on through 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 somebody said I'm gonna walk on through I'm going to walk on through the thing that I thought was going to kill me. I'm going to walk on through. I'm going to walk on through sickness. I'm going to walk on through depression. I'm going to walk on through anxiety. I'm going. Somebody said, I'm going to walk on through. You're not going to have to roll me in a wheelchair. You're not going to have to talk about it at my funeral. I shall walk. Huh. 
<laughs> Somebody shout live, 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 live. I said somebody shout live, 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 live. You don't believe it. He just opened it up for me. And I'm going to live to see it happen. I'm going to live. You don't believe it. I said you don't believe it. But tell your neighbor, say live, 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 live. I know that's right. Live, 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 live. If it's the last thing that you do, live, live, live. You are gonna live to see it happen I said you are gonna live to see it happen I said you are gonna live to see it happen I said live 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 I said live 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 I said live 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 I said you are gonna live to see it happen. I said you are gonna live to see it happen. I said you are gonna live to see it happen. Somebody say live, 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 live. Live, 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 To see it happen. Come on, huh? say you're gonna live to see it happen. You're gonna live to see it happen. You're gonna live to see it happen. Live, 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 Leo! <laughs> Leo! 
Because he's not finished. I'm alive. Because he's not done. I'm alive. Because I still got a promise hanging over my head. I still got a word from the Lord hanging over my life. Sorry. Tell your neighbor, I'm grateful. I'm grateful. I'm grateful. If you wonder why I praise the way I do, if you wonder why I worship the way I do, it's because I'm grateful. If the enemy had his way, I would be dead if the enemy had his way I'd be the walking dead he might have left me alive in my body but he desired that I be dead in my mind he desired that I be dead in my soul but somebody shout I'm alive he didn't let me die he didn't let me die he didn't let me die. Didn't let me die. And this is not, it's not an accident. I am alive. <laughs> because there's more. He could have let me die. When I went my own way, when I did my own thing, I disobeyed him. He could have let me die. Huh? Could have let me die. Die. But he didn't let me die. And this is not. You're not here by accident. You are alive because there's more. The devil is a liar. God is exalted. Never be defeated. Never be defeated. The devil is a liar. God is exalted and I'll never, never be. Come on, help me sing it. Said the devil is a liar. God is. I'll never be defeated. I'll never be defeated. <laughs> Said the devil is a liar. God is exalted. I'll never be defeated. Never be defeated. Said the devil is a liar. God is exalted. I'll never be defeated. Never be defeated. Said the devil is a liar. God is exalted. Never be defeated. Never be defeated. Said the devil is a liar. God is exalted. I'll never be defeated. I'll never be defeated. Said the devil is a liar. God is exalted. I'll never be defeated. Never be defeated. Said the devil is liar. God is exalted. Never be defeated. Never be defeated. Said the devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. He said I'm sick, but the devil is a liar. He said I won't make it, but the devil is a liar. He said I 
won't stand. But the devil is a liar. 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 God is exalted. God is exalted. God is exalted. Be thou exalted. Be thou exalted. <laughs> Be thou exalted. Get the glory out of my life. Get the glory out of my life. Get the glory out of my life. <laughs> Get the glory out of my life. Yeah. Get the glory out of my life. <laughs> Be thou exalted. God is exalted. Get the glory out of my life. Get the glory out of my life. Get the glory. Get the glory out of my life. Oh Lord, you are. God is exalted. Said the devil is a liar. Devil is a lion. He can't tell the truth. He's the father of lies. Oh, he is. Devil is a lion. But God is exalted. God is exalted. Even in this, he is. God is exalted. In the middle of the test, God is exalted. In the middle of my storm, God still is exalted. When Lazarus died, his sister said, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But he said, this sickness is not unto death. But it's so that I can be glorified, glorified. God wants the glory. God wants the glory. God wants the glory. God wants the glory. Wants the glory. Somebody exalted. Somebody exalted. Hey, 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 hey. God is, God is. It may not look like it, and it may not always feel like it, but He still is exalted. But He still is exalted. Even in my crisis. Even in my storm, even in the problem, God be exalted. In the middle of my grief, in the middle of my pain, God is, God is, God is exalted. God is exalted. God is. God is. Mm. So we say, be glorified. Be. Glorified. Be glorified. Mm. Be glorified. Come on, if you know it, lift it up. Say, be glorified. Be. Ah. In this room be in my life, Lord. 
Come on, ask him be. We want you to be glorified, Lord. Come on, it's the sound of the saints be glorified. Come on, saints, cast your voice in the room. Be. I know it's hard right now, but be. Through the tears be glorified. Oh, in the storm be. Be glorified. Be glorified, oh, yeah. We're about to move, but say it again. Be glorified. Now, come on, take the next 30 seconds and sing in the spirit. Ramandebe kusharama, come on, sing your own song. Remanda la makore saye, rebanda la bakore manda bakasande rebe kushanda na maye. Ora maye, ora maye. Come on, that's it. Lift your voice, saints. Come on, sing in the spirit. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, Ramana ye Surabakata ye Ramaso. Come on, you gotta bypass your intellect. Oh, oh, oh. We want you to be glorified. Say, be glorified. Be glorified. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Be. Do get the glory, Lord. Whatever you do, get the glory, Lord. If I have to cry, if I gotta pray, get the glory, Lord. If I gotta be processed, if I gotta go through it, get the glory. Now, somebody lift your voice and lift your hands and worship. Come on, just lift your worship in the room. Come on. Be glorified. Come on, for a few seconds. Come on, lift your word. Don't let him coach you, but just worship him for the good, for he's been good to us.
put your hands together tonight. Come on. Let's thank God tonight for the ministry of David Wilford tonight. Come on, let's do better than that. Glory to God. We're getting ready to leave this place, but not the presence of the Lord. But I want to, uh, today, glory to God, on yesterday, the Lord began to speak to me, and the prophet began to say, in every gathering, he wants to make sure we receive a word from the Lord. Somebody say, we need a word from the Lord. I'm not going to be before you long, but I just want you to uh, go to Genesis, the 35th chapter. I'm going to read just a few verses in your hearing, and then we're going to honor this man of God because he is due honor tonight. Somebody say he is due honor. Around the 16th verse, the Bible says in Genesis, the 35th chapter, the Bible says that they journeyed for Bethel. There was but little way to come to Ephrath, and Rachel travailed, and she had hard labor. And it came to pass when she was in hard labor that the wife said unto her, Fear not, but to have this son also. And it came to pass as her soul was in departing that she called his name Benoni, but his father called him Benjamin. And Rachel died and was buried in the way to Ephrath with Bethlehem. And Jacob set a pillar upon a grave that of the pillar of Rachel's grave until this day. And Israel journeyed and spread his tent beyond the Tower of Edom. Father, we thank you tonight for your word. Thank you for these, your people, and the sound of my voice. God, I ask you right now to throw your weight around this room. Let your anointing be even more evident in the house tonight. Somebody needs to hear something from you. And God, I ask you that you speak directly to them. Encourage our prophet tonight. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you give me about five minutes, I want you to prophetically to pro pro prophesy to your neighbor and say, Neighbor, it shall be what you name it. Now, you know, now I need y'all to, I need some of my prophetic apostolic people in here. Just look at somebody and say, Hey, neighbor, I want to prophesy to you. Your next season is whatever you call it. I dare you to open up your mouth and begin to call it some stuff. Come on, call it healing. Ho! Oh, hey! Call it deliverance. I say call it breakthrough. I say call it change. Look at somebody and say it'll be whatever you call it. If you believe it, put your hands together and give it praise right to here. I want to agree with you, glory to God, tonight, prophet, as prophet Shanika Stewart began to prophesy, she began to talk about the number nine, and the number three plus six equals nine, and of course, we understand that number nine means a number of birthing, and I want to prophesy to you that yes, you are in your birthing season. I want you to look at a neighbor and say, neighbor, I know it's April, but you're in your birthing season. There is something great getting ready to come out of you. And that's why the warfare has been so hard. It's because what you're carrying is major. I want you to high five somebody and say, neighbor, what you're carrying is major. Don't let the devil fool you. There ain't nothing small coming out of you. Your warfare is great, so your manifestation is even greater. Now, I don't know who I'm talking to in this room, but if you're carrying great manifestation, I tell you to give God praise because something is coming forth. I said something is coming forth. If you believe it, hot five your name and say something big is coming out of you. You, that the number nine doesn't just also mean birthing, but it also means finality. And can I prophesy to you as a prophet of God that the spirit of the Lord say that this is the year that you're getting ready to have your finality moment. You're getting ready to stand in places and say finally it happened. I don't know how many people going to catch this, but for the right reason, God's getting ready to give you a finally moment. Finally, I'm healed. Finally, I'm delivered. Finally, I'm free. Finally, I'm a millionaire. Finally, I'm a billionaire. Finally, I got the house of my dreams. I wish I had somebody that can praise him. Because this is your season of finally. Shandala Mahonia. I got the kid on the key. But I want you to look at the text tonight. 
Jacob and his wife was in labor but it wasn't just an irregular labor but look at somebody say it was hard labor tell somebody pushing this thing out been hard oh god y'all not gonna help me in here but pushing out what god has called you to push out in this season has been hard it hasn't been an easy thing and sometimes the pain will cause you to close your legs at the time of pushing but i came to prophesy to about seven people baby i know it hurts but you gotta push this thing out the bible says that she had someone which is why in this season proximity is important because you need people around you that don't sympathize you in your pain but tell your baby you're gonna have this one also well, i ain't gonna get nobody to help me in here but i wish i had about 15 people that knows you're carrying something major that even though it hurts you're gonna have this one also tell somebody you wanna have this baby Everybody under the sound of my voice That you will not miscarry You will not preach What God's trying to bring out of you But you're gonna have oh, I wish I had somebody To high five your name and say push baby You're on the verge of something great Push baby There's some yet to be seen What God is getting ready To bring out of you Come on high five one more person I'm anointing you to push in this season. Push out what come. I gotta get on the key. But before I go, I wanna give you, I wanna give you some instructions. When you're in birthing, you got to be careful that you don't allow, that you don't allow your situation to bring language to your delivery. I'm going to say that again. I said you got to be careful doctor that you don't allow your situation to bring identity and language to your delivery. It's in the text. The Bible says to us that as Rachel was coming forth with it in her agony, in her pain, she began to name her manifestation by a curse. And you gotta be careful that you do not name your manifestation by the pain that comes with birthing. Look at the neighbor and say, neighbor, I know it hurts, but your pain is not the name of your manifestation. I came all the way from Atlanta to let somebody know that you got to be careful what you say out of your mouth while you're bringing something forth because you will curse your own production. But in spite of what's going on, you got to call it by what God says. And I came all the way from Atlanta to tell you that the Lord said he's reversing the curse. He's reversing the negativity that's been attached to your manifestation. I came to let you know that every word that was spoken over what God has called you to birth that does not align with his will is being dismantled. I wish I had some people that are pulled down God's words. Word spoken against the manifestation of this ministry. Where my warriors at? I say, pull it down, pull it down now. Come on, child, pull it down, pull it down. I said, pull it down. I'm gonna leave you. But the Bible says that she called him son, but no, not now, but no, not me. And sometimes, if you be honest, when you're birthing something, it can be sorrowful, it can be hurtful, but the experience is not the identity. I came to prophesy to about 15 people that let you know tonight that what you experience is not the identity. 
identity of your manifestation. But you got to learn how to stand up. And in spite of what's going on, let sorrow die. And speak up. And name your manifestation by what God calls it. I'm getting out of here. But the Bible says to us that when she died, Jacob spoke up and said, we're not going to call it, but no lie, but we're going to call it Benjamin. I came to prophesy over your life today that the Lord said, in the name of what you're prophetic is Benjamin. I came to tell somebody, it'll be whatever you call it. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care what the storm says, but it'll be whatever you declare. I wish I had about seven people. I know you're ready to go home, but they can open your mouth and declare that this is a blessed place. It may have hot, but it's going to help me. It may have hot, but it's going to lift me. Do me one favor. Open your mouth and shout, Benjamin, come on through here. Benjamin, come on through here. Benjamin, come on, Benjamin. Come on, Benjamin. Shout it out. Shout it out. Shout it out. when I looked at it prophet she did not allow he did not allow the frustration of birthing to identify his manifestation a lot of times Pastor Wilford if we're not careful we'll name things by the experience and not by what God calls it and we're wondering why our manifestation is moving slow is because you cursed it with your declaration. Never mind. But I came to tell you that today God says he's reversing. All I need is seven, Pastor Cece. I need seven riders that believe in what God is birthing through this ministry. Just to stand up with me real quick and prophesy the prophet and say, Benjamin is coming. over you that this is your season of authority oh I wish I had somebody see in the last season you just had promise but if you look at the scripture now I ain't got time to go through all of it but you look at the scripture this, this is after Rachel died and he renamed her baby the Bible now not, not does not just call Jacob by his name but he calls him by his identity that he shifted into and it says and Israel and Benjamin turned it on y'all not going to help me I came to prophesy to you that God said you're not just going to have promise but now you got promise and authority I'm walking in authority living life without apologies it's not wrong here you belong here so the plans you might as well get used I need seven people to step out of your seat and walk for the prophet that's a come on that's another level of authority that's another level of grace that's coming upon your ministry that's another level whatever you say it you'll get frustrated call it what you want it to be call it bliss don't get mad call it breakthrough don't get frustrated call it what you want to see and whatever Whatever you call it, that's what it shall be. I know about seven of you. You're going through financial difficulty right now. But God said what you birth is about to bless you. And if you open up your mouth and call millions in this atmosphere, I promise you, before the year is out, I 
said before the year is out, millions gonna show up. Somebody shout millions, millions. Can I shout in this room? Lift your hands. This is your season. Everybody lift your hands in essence, stand that can can. I'm finished. The Lord said this is his season, and this is your season. The Lord says you're walking with promise and authority. The Spirit of the Lord says to tell you that don't get frustrated. Because in building, in birthing something, frustration can hit you. And you got to remember there's power on your words. But God says, prophet, and to your woman of God, all you got to do is stand still and call it what you want it to be. With my church, I said, all you got to do is stand, sift your hands. I feel it about Shea. I speak in the name of the Lord Jesus that tonight the Lord shoots you to a realm beyond the warfare. My spiritual mother, I feel it. Mm, I feel Jesus. My spiritual mother used to tell me, she said, Mother Sex used to tell me, she said, There's a place in God that you get where warfare can't even find you. It can be around you, but it won't find you. And the Lord told me tonight that today, as a gift to him, he is shooting you beyond the warfare. I need somebody that's not jealous. Oh, hey, my son, Jesus! I'm moving. God says tonight, he is getting ready to set you in a place of power. And the Lord says, your only instructions is don't come down. Don't come down to deal with anything that's beneath you. God says he's setting you in a place of authority. And all you got to do is speak it and it will line up. If you're not jealous as a gift to our prophet, point your hands at this woman of God. And say, do it all. Do it, Jesus. Come on. I wish I had old oh, oh, I said, do it, Jesus. Do it, Jesus. Do it, Jesus. Say, how did it quit? Come on, do it, Jesus. Come on, he's taking you to a place that's beyond you. How? Oh, give it to him. Oh, come on, somebody open. I feel it in the room. Come on, open your mouth. I feel it in the room. God is giving you promise. Come on, open your mouth. I feel it in the room. God is giving you promise. And he's giving you authority. That's a new measure of grace that's coming upon you. Come on, reach from. Come on, son. Open your mouth tonight. Open your mouth tonight. Beyond the warfare. Beyond the warfare. Come on, I'm going. Hey, I'm going to a place. Come on, beyond the warfare. How? Come on, beyond the warfare. Come on, beyond the warfare. Take me to a place, Jesus. Yeah. Come on, take me, Jesus. Take me, Jesus. He's doing something new. He's doing something new. He's healing the residue. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He's doing something new. Oh, hey, give me, come on. Take me beyond the wall. Take me, Jesus. Take me, Jesus. I'm sorry, prophet. I want to mess up your party. But the Holy Ghost is doing something right now. This what you came for. This what you came for. The strength you need. The grace you need. is in your mouth. Open your mouth and speak it here. Come on, open your mouth. Open your mouth. Oh, open your mouth. Speak on the Lord of the Come on, speak it here. Speak. Whatever you say it with, 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 whatever you whatever you say it with, whatever you say it with, whatever you Open your mouth! 
over your feet come. You're gonna claim the territory. Wherever your feet come, we bind the hindrance. We bind the warfare. Take them to a place in the spirit where there is no warfare. Build it. manifestation and everything you said I watch you manifest but everything you said I watch you manifest and the Lord said tonight clean up some of the things you said in frustration and manifesting and he said to tell you stay in your place of authority I want to tell everybody on Facebook, he will stay in a high place because he's a king. And whatever he speaks, he will manifest. You can fight it all you want to, but I will not pay attention to your weak attempts because I'm too high for you to touch me. When the Lord takes you in the spirit, when the Lord takes you in the spirit, hear me, it takes you to a place where he says, now I'm giving you space to build, which means put down your hammer, no, put down your sword and pick up your hammer and build. That means he has taken you so high that the warfare can't reach you. And if you go down, that's because you want to fight. My last declaration tonight before I see in this man of God, because I came to sow tonight. I prophesy that we will stay high in building. Lift your hands. Tell somebody, I'm going to stay high in building. I'm going to stay high in building. I prophesy a weight of anointing upon you and a grace over you, Pastor Wilford, that everything you say in this hour, you're gonna build with your mouth. Tell somebody, the labor was hard, but the building won't be. I wish I had. God said you're gonna build with your mouth. Whatever you say, God's going to take the hard work out of your hands, prophet. And God said, whatever you say in this season, watch it manifest. I believe tonight. 36 is attached to 360, prophet. And most times they tell you in church, you don't need to do a 360, you need to do a 180. But I disagree. I believe what God is doing with your ministry in this hour is a whole through 60. It's something different we've never seen. And many people have tried to box you into what they're comfortable with. 
But God says, when, oh, hey, when he releases you this time, it'll be something they never seen. It'll be a whole new globe of manifestation that's swaying on your life. And tonight, the Lord told me, and I'm not just doing this, but the Lord told me. He said, if you believe in this man of God, I want you to sow a seed of $360 for the manifestation of what the God is calling all day. All day I've been, everybody knows what I've been going through. I got a lot of things, but I said, you know what? I'm not going to focus on what I cannot take care of right now. This is a God moment. And grieving does nothing from where the Lord is getting ready to take you. I wish I had somebody that believed he's going somewhere. And tonight, I'm going to be the first to stand with my $360 seed. Because the well global is something different. It's not the well international. It's something different. And even though you have not shared the blueprint to us, for those of us who are sensitive in the spirit, understand you in a new place. And I, as your brother, will invest in the 360. Woo. That God is getting ready to do it. I need nine other persons in this room or either online that came tonight to sow into what God is doing. Somebody in here is going to give a thousand three hundred and sixty, maybe online or somebody in here. But wherever you are, those ten, those nine other persons are going to stand with me tonight. Hallelujah. This is going directly into the prophet. And I don't know what has to be done, but you have to eat this. Because as God does a 360 with you, he's doing a 360 with me. Oh, y'all ain't saying nothing. You got to understand mantles that you invest into. And I honor you and I respect the mantle on your life. Not just the mantle of wealth, but the mantle of wisdom. Solomon was wealthy and he prayed for wisdom. You have a wisdom beyond your years. And I'm investing in the wisdom that comes from the heavens. That people may not look at your age, but they look at your age in the spirit. I wish I had some people. If you're coming, if you're standing with me, I want you to come. I'm going to be the first. That one person that's going to sow that thousand, let us know. If you're online, I want you to sow. And we're sowing directly to Delaney Frank tonight. Not the well Nola. Somebody say Delaney Frank. Now what he do with it is beyond us. But tonight, we're sowing into Delaney Frank. There's a few more of you that can sow that seed. I want you to come. If you could tell us who's online sowing, we will shout you out. I want you to come all the well partners. Here, here Prophet Dion tonight. I want you to invest in your 360 that God is getting ready to do with this man of faith. He's prophesied to us. He's labored with us. And God is doing something for you now. Oh, God. Tell somebody, I'm not selfish. I'm happy he's doing it for him now. It is your time to be blessed. And I want to bless him tonight. Come on, we're coming. I see you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I need three more people to make my ten. Come on, if you're online, come on. I want you to do this real quickly. Thank you, Lord. We're sowing directly to Delaney Frank, or the, or the giving is the zealous FC Delaney Ministries at gmail.com. I want you to come. I know many of you have sown already, but I, this is a special seed tonight. And I want to sow it directly to our prophet tonight. And you say, Prophet Dion, I really don't have the 360, but I want to sow $136. Dollars. I want you to come. I want you to stand behind them. You can sow that seed of 136. I want you to come quickly. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And everybody online, I want you to say, do it big, God. If you're sowing in the comments, I want you to say, do it big, God. It's major. It's major. Somebody say, it's major. Come on, if you're sowing that 136, I just want you to raise your hand and come stand behind them. Come on, somebody say, do it big, God. Do it big, God. Come on, there's about four more of you online. I just want you to type, do it big, God. We're sowing to Delaney Frank. We're sowing to FC Delaney Ministries at Gmail, the Dazelle, the PayPal. Come on, just say, do it big, God. Do it big, God. Do it big, God. Bigger, better. 
bigger, better. Y'all remember Samuel Experience 2022? What we declare, we say, bigger, better. Come on, I'm waiting on you. Some of you, you're going to sow. Let's see. Oh, bigger, better. You say, prophet, I don't have the 136, but I want to sow 36. I want you to come. I want you to come online. I just want you to say, do it big. We're releasing our seed tonight. If you can do the 36, I want you to come quickly. I want to pray a blessing over you. One second, mother can sit because she's a mother can sit. I know she's sewing. But everybody else that can stand, I want you to see. Oh, I thought you, oh, he's doing double. Yes, ma'am. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Everybody hold your seat up to the Lord and say, Lord, it's going to be whatever I say. The harvest I'm expecting is exactly what I'm going to declare. I said the harvest I'm expecting is exactly what I'm going to declare. Out of the pain shall produce an authority in heaven. I want you to tap this, tap this receptacle. Glory to God and say bigger, better, bigger, better. I need everybody online that can at least get 36. I want you to say do it big, God. And everybody that, if you don't have, get the $3.60. And you have until Friday, you have been all month. If you want to vow the seed, just call us, and call ours, call inbox Pastor Loretta and say, I want to vow the thousand. I want to vow the 360. I want you to vow it. If you want to say, I want to vow it, I want you to inbox Pastor Loretta and say, I'm going to vow it. And I'm going to keep my vow by the end of the month. Because I believe what God is doing in Prophet Delaney. I believe what God is doing in him. Come on, come on, clap your hands tonight for your giving. Whatever you have that you want to sow, I just want you to come. You got something, but make sure it ends in three, is it $3.60, whatever. Make sure it ends in 60. Come on, just come, come from all over the building, whatever you have. Whoa, bigger, better. I'm moving, but prophet, I love you. I honor you, and I appreciate God for you. And when the Lord makes me that multi, multi millionaire, I'm not ever going to forget you. Because I believe God, I believe we both can be millionaires. <laughs> and I believe, I used to, I was telling this, I was telling my mother, and I'm going to sit down, I'm an only child, so I used to pray for siblings. I used to pray for siblings. And, um, you know, you go out through ministry. People say they're your brother and your friend, but they don't really be your brother and your friend. And, yes, we get into it, but that's my brother. That's my, that's, that's my brother. And there's nothing that I prayed for in a sibling that God didn't honor in Prophet Delaney. And even though I don't have natural siblings, God will give you spiritual siblings to fill voids and places, and I thank God that he has done that. And so I praise God for you, I bless God for you, and I speak in the name of Jesus that you, whatever you speak in this season, in this year 36, God's going to honor. Can we do it one more time? Clap our hands for Prophet Frank C. I bless your seed tonight. I pray in the name of Jesus that every seed that you sowed tonight will begin to go, grow, and multiply. And this seed will produce the harvest you declare in Jesus' name. Amen. I believe Pastor Cece is coming to close us out. Oh, to come and speak and give words. Come on, give God praise as she comes tonight. Hallelujah. God bless you, Prophet Dion. Come on, give God praise for the word. Give God praise for that word on tonight. I know if he wasn't speaking to you, he was speaking directly to me. Hallelujah. Somebody say, build it. Somebody say it again, build it. Hallelujah. Just on yesterday, I pushed something out. On just yesterday, I pushed out manifestation. On just yesterday, I had a mantle placed over me. And I'm excited about access, fellowship, church that was birthed in the earth realm. Where there is desolation, something new was birthed, Pastor Chris. Where there is restoration, 
nothing is needed except was birthed on yesterday and I'm so excited about that if you're not too jealous come on clap your hands and tell God thank you for what he's doing in our lives and I just had to be here on tonight I have had I have had a full month that's right I had to press through this because we've had a full week We've had a full month. We've had a full day on yesterday, but there was no way in the world that I was not coming to celebrate my brother. There is no way in the world. You don't know the breath that this man has birthed into my life, breathed into me when I was ready to give up. When I said I wouldn't minister anymore, Dr. G. When I said, let somebody else do it, God. Let somebody else speak it. This man called me in Baltimore, Maryland and said, sis, get up. God has need of you. And so I will thank God for him until I don't have breath in my body to do it. There was no way I wasn't going to be here tonight. So here's what I heard, prophet. Let me tell you what I heard in the spirit. Um, I heard access accelerated. I, I, I heard access accelerated because prophet Dion just confirm what I heard God say. I heard you say that, that more. I heard you say push. I heard when you were up here in intercession, I thought I was going to lose my mind be because I'm telling you this thing is about to be accelerated. I don't care how long you thought it was going to take. This thing is going to be accelerated. This is the season that what took somebody else two weeks Two, two years, it's going to take you two weeks to do it. And so I want y'all to know, and you'll be the first to know this, that on today we signed some papers. On today, now I just said my ministry was birthed last night. My ministry on last night, the confirmation was given. But on today, I signed the paperwork for a brand new building. On today, I signed the paperwork. I thought I was going to rent from somebody else, but God gave me my own. Because when I go in, I'm taking over territories. When I go in, I'm going to be able to lay on the floor. When I go in, ain't nobody going to be able to tell me, time's up. And before this month is over, the deal will close. I don't need 30 days. write the book. Access. And I want you to know sometimes, prophet, we got to call forth the money when we sign the papers. Sometimes we got to beg people to give when we sign the papers. But if they don't give, the money is already there. God's already provided for what he has promised. God's already provided for what he has promised. Somebody shout. 
Somebody shout, I just got accelerated. All right, you play it. I say prophesy, I just got it. I prophesy God's speed. You in the God speed. You in the God speed. You about to run through troops. You about to run over every witch, every warlock, every naysayer, every child of drown in the river. In the name of the Lord Jesus, somebody shout, I just got accelerated. Acceleration is on my life. Hey, oh, yes, Lord. Hey, yes, Lord. Somebody shout, acceleration is on my life. Oh, come on, clap your hands and shout. Come on, clap your hands and shout. I'm excited. Hallelujah. So many of you that are here tonight. And of course, you know, this birthing is different. <laughs> it's a different journey. I, I gave the Lord another yes when he told me to return. I, to be honest, I really didn't want to do it. Uh, but so many confirmations came. I was getting into the truck to go minister in Lynchburg in January of this year. And the Lord began to speak to me. He said, you're going to finish all the way through February, but you need to sit yourself down and do what I tell you to do. And who calls me on the phone while the Lord is speaking to me and tell me, Prophet, we're waiting on you. That watchman, Griffin, she shoots to the hip. I love her. She said, Prophet, we have need of you. I'm like, here we go. And she began to uh, just challenge me, not just her, but people like prophetess Ledette and even Shanika Stewart who came back and she said I need the prophet I need my mentor <laughs> you know they're going to pull on me because to be honest I was comfortable in virtual land when you've pastored a people and when you've done what we call church for so long <laughs> you know I've been in church since young been doing effective ministry since the age of 12 years old 13 years old I was a youth director I've seen so much in the church and these last four years were comfortable. So when the Lord told me to return, I knew the warfare uh, would be great. And I didn't want it. I really didn't want it because I'm like, I'm not in this to compete. I'm just me. I dare to be different. But it comes with the territory. But anyway, we're here. <laughs> and since we're here on this new journey this time around, it's going to be different. I feel it. And for you being here, our first service in this building has blessed me. Official service with guests has blessed me. Come on, clap your hands and give God praise. I'm kind of full. I'm kind of full uh, because uh, 30 days have felt like six months to me. <laughs> Serious. These last 30 days have felt like six months. So when she said the word acceleration, I knew it was key because the Lord told me earlier this week, he said, God speak. God speed, that Kairos, that Kronos, so God speeding is not our speeding, because one day, all right, come on, so again, I thank God for Mom Delaney, can we thank God for the one who birthed me, thank God for my wife, can we honor God, hey, Shanda, hey, Shanda, yes, Lord, I am a better man because of her, and I'm going to publicly say this. Oh, he that findeth a wife, she, she can deal with all of me. <laughs> and I love her for that. I love her for that. Because she can deal when I'm in the prophet's mode. And then five minutes later, I shift to the pastor's mode. And three minutes later, I come to the... See, when you're under an apostolic and prophetic ministry, you have to understand pressure. Because you're in boot camp. I'm not like normal pastors. I'm not. Some of them need teams to help create. I'm the creator, the administrator. <laughs> God gives it to me. I work it and we delegate and we work it together. But I don't need a creative team. I don't have to hire a creative team because God gave me creativity. I know what I want when I want it. So, And if you can't do it, I can do it. So I, I, that's just who I am. I can sing. I can do worship. I can, the only thing I can't do yet is play the keyboard. You heard me yet. But once I get that, I'll be really bad to the bone. Somebody shout, I know who I am. 
You have to know who you are. And what I don't know, I put people around me that can do it to strengthen who I am. So again, I thank you tonight. And it was so much confirmation as you all begin to impart it to her. Because that's what she needs. When you're standing along a side of any powerful man of God, you as a Shira, the Lord gave me a conference that I'm going to work before the year is out for women called the Shira's Movement. The Shira in the Bible, it was birthed during Mother's Conference last year. And the Lord said, begin to do your women's gatherings again. Glory to God. And it's a Shira's Movement. She is the only woman in the Bible who built three cities with her own hand. She a bad chick. Which means she had to have some kind of mentality to be able to deal with in a league with men that were disbuilders. She a bad girl. And I thank God for her. Can we thank God again for missionary prophetess Ivory? And of course, all the pastors that are here, Pastor Chris has helped with my journey. I honor you for being here. You and your wife, your family, your covenant. My God, my covenant sister, prophetess Ledette, I honor God for you hanging in there. She with me when the wheels falling off. Amen. We have that kind of connection, Prophetess Shanika. I ran all through my office. I'm radical like that. When I seen my sister, Dion Smith, my God, I love her. Her and her husband are covenant. They're friends to us. We're going to be more intentional about our fellowship in this season and this hour. She's a preacher machine, and I want her to be a part of the Shearer's movement. And, of course, to all the citizens, all the partners for being in your prospective places, it's not easy. Let me tell you, serving under a prophet Delaney. <laughs> it's, it's not easy, but they, they do it, and they do it well. Amen. Glory to God. And, of, of course, Watchman Griffin being here, and my sister now, Pastor Prophet C.C. Harrison. And then, of course, uh, the woman of God that's here from Baltimore. With, and everybody in their prospective places, I love you. Those that are watching on social media, thank God for you. Well, Passover is here. Somebody shout, it's here. And I'm excited about the Passover experience. And of course, it starts, somebody shout, Friday night. I'm bringing a general in. I'm bringing a general in, and I'm going to begin to get on the phone, and I'm going to begin to call pastors. I see you in the back. One of my other covenant sisters, her and her husband, a man, are, are covenant, a man. Uh, she know who she is with the gold head. Bless you. I love her. <laughs> Terrica, amen. Glory to God. Uh, Friday night is for leadership. If you're leadership, I'm bringing in a general, especially if you are apostolic and prophetic churches are different. They're different than a, the traditional church. Amen, because we deal with warfare, we, we dealing with systems, we're not just dealing with a street name, we're not just dealing with a, a, a building and a, 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 a property, we're dealing with systems, we're dealing with spirits, we're dealing with, I, I'm dealing with all kind of demonic, demonic realms, because I was really the first, I was really one of the first to be young, amen, to be dropped, to be picked back up again, to be dropped again, to be picked back up again. I was one of the first to step out, start a church on my own. They didn't give me extra dollars. They didn't do it. They didn't do it. I was the first to obey God and do it. And then the Lord shifted me and we was one, within three months, I was one church in two locations, the first in the area to be young, glory to God, after being dropped to do that. So it's a special grace on my life and everybody don't know that. They don't understand it. And uh, the Lord just began to deal with me, glory to God, in this season about being more intentional about understanding your identity. Each and every one of you have a personality trait. And when we understand each and every individual's personality trait, we can work better in ministry. Because we're not intimidated, we're not intimidated if somebody's a guru in an area. Amen. But you have to, one, of course, be confident in who you are. Glory to God. I can sit back. You know, I can sit back and let y'all preach, pray, prophesy, and it don't take nothing from me. Because I know who I am. <laughs> Glory to God. So when you get to that grace and into that level in God, I've been through too much, amen. So Friday night is for leaderships. Apostle Linda threatened the reason I respect her and I honor her, have known her for that, that, that long, for about maybe three years. She shoots at the hip and she never was afraid to call me out. She was not afraid to deal with me because some people are intimidated by me. They don't tell you the truth. They see you drowning and let you drown. 
She was not intimidated by my grace, by my anointing. She didn't care that I was on the Word Network. She didn't care who and who I knew. She called me out and she continues to do it. So I respect her for that and vice versa. I challenge her. And she's much older than me, but we're, we have the wisdom and we call each other twins in the spirit. So it's going to be phenomenal. Bring your leaders Friday night, I promise you. You're going to experience an impartation. It changed my life forever. I, I mean, that one impartation shifted my authority to another level because I wasn't the, uh, the best communicator when it dealt with leaders. Because I'm just a person to just do it. You can't do it and you ain't moving quick enough because you're moving slow, I'll do it. But that's not leading. That's not leading. You, you're all over the place. So Friday night, go over to God. It's going to be leadership impartation. And then all day Saturday, we're going to press in like the Jews do. They shut down their businesses for days for Passover. And God has called me to do something different, and I'm going to do it. We'll be in 12 hours of prayer on Saturday all day from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. She'll be praying. Apostle Carnell Stokes is a beast. He'll be here. He's a brother. He'll be partnering and, and helping us plow through in the 12 hours of prayer. Shanika Stewart, uh, uh, Prophetess Ledette, I believe in using covenant. Amen. Don't need to recreate nothing when they're already anointed. I don't need to bring people because they know what to do. And then, of course, on Sunday morning, we'll be here for morning glory. Just one hour, I promise you, from 9.30. I'm going to be on the floor at 9.30. Amen. All the way through, so no special order of service. I will be on the floor at 9.30 so that we can be out by 10.30 because somebody shout Monday night. Monday night is the Seder and Apostle, uh, me and uh, uh, Apostle Lord, watch me, Yolanda Griffin, she apostolic, yeah, that's all. Uh, uh, Griffin, that's an apostle, she is, straight up. And uh, we'll be in here with the Seder. Now the Seder, it's very, it, it, it's, it's, it's a sacred time, but I promise you, when you get in that moment, it's going to open heaven. Over your ministry, over your business. Just sitting, and we haven't had a Seder. The last Seder we had was actually in Laplace. It was actually in Laplace, the official one. Uh, we've done others, but the last one was here. So this return is prophetic, and I promise you, if you can meet us of any one of those days, get here, because I promise you, you observe this feast this year, your life will never be the, be the same. Somebody shout glory. Of course, I'm excited, and of course, I'm going to end the